Here we have another word problem. Uh, Mad Cabs has an unusual offer going on. It says they're charging $7.50 for a taxi ride of any length within the city limits. And we need to graph the function that relates the cost of hiring the taxi compared to the n uh, number of miles that the journey lasts. Now, the reason this one's interesting is because the difference or the cost of the journey doesn't really relate to the number of miles at all. We know that the cost is going to be $7.50. So y, the cost, is going to be $7.50 no matter how many miles it is. So really it's like they're charging zero cents per mile. So we have y equals $7.50 for the starting charge and then zero cents per mile where all the miles are x. And that way no matter what it is, I mean if we actually draw our, uh, our xy graph here we can see one here, one here, um, we can see that as x is zero then y is 750, and if x is 20, <laughs> y is 750, and if x is 1,000, y is 750. It just doesn't change. So really, the x doesn't matter at all in this instance, and what we get when we graph it is actually a horizontal line here at y equals 7.5. We can see that no matter what x happens to be down here across the bottom, it doesn't matter, y is always 7.5 up here on top. So our equation really effectively is just y equals 750. And x doesn't even need to be written in because it just doesn't make any difference. Here we're going to just go through really quickly and plot or graph four different equations um, that all are either just y or just x and see what happens as the different values change. I'm just going to go over the lines that are already here on the screen uh, since this graph is much nicer than my handwriting and much easier to read. So let's take a look at A first of all. A is y equals 4 and there's no mention of x. So it doesn't really matter what x is, y is always 4. And that one up is up here, a, we can see that no matter what x is, if x is, say, negative 3, y is 4. If x is 3, y is 4. If x is 0, y is, I think you get the idea. So this is a horizontal line at y equals 4. And don't get fooled, because sometimes this can be a little confusing, actually, thinking you know that y goes up and down, so you see the equation up here, and you think, oh, well, this equation is just y, so this is going to be a vertical line. But no, what they're telling us is that the vertical coordinate is the only one that the only one that's set. So the horizontal coordinate can change. We can have any horizontal coordinate we want. So the line ends up being horizontal, and that's going to be just like um, b here. B we have y equals negative four. So we go down to negative four, and then no matter what x is, whether x is zero or three or negative three, it doesn't matter. Y is always negative four. So again, we have a an equation that only has a y coordinate but it ends up being a horizontal line, which I would suspect makes it pretty clear that uh, we can guess what's going to happen with x uh, equations here when we have just x in an equation. x equals 4. If y uh, equations are always horizontal lines, then x is probably going to be vertical. So yet yeah, that works out because we can see that we know the horizontal position. We know it's always going to be 4. But whether y is 0 or y is 2, or y is 5, it doesn't matter what y is, this line is always going to be vertical since it's the horizontal placement that we know. It's that horizontal placement that's set. The vertical placement changes as the values change, but the horizontal placement is set. And then our last equation here, x, whoa, x is negative 4. Um, we can see that, again, the horizontal placement is set here, so we have a, a point right here at negative 4. And then everything else is always going to be on this same horizontal location, which gives us a vertical line here at x equals negative 4. And I apologize, those colors don't work well on white. I usually work on dark backgrounds.